Smash, get it, go. Hi guys, day two of the adventure. A little time away with Trish. And I thought a good opportunity to introduce some new shoes into the shoe rotation. So for this little trip away, I've brought with me my second pair of the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebels V2. I've also got my second pair of the New Balance Beacon V3s. And I also brought along with me the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elites version two. And these are going to get a workout this morning at Park Run. Haven't worn these before. I'm really looking forward and interested to see how these shoes are going to go at Park Run. My plan with Park Run today is just want to try and hold four minute per kilometers. That's what, 624 per mile. I just want to put down a little bit of a base today with the Park Run because it's been about eight weeks since that Achilles niggle flared and I haven't done any sort of real hard running since then. So really wanna just test where I'm at and doing a 5K at Park Run. On this course, which I believe is pretty flat, yeah, just be a good opportunity to see where I'm at fitness wise, see where I'm at speed wise, and see how these new shoes go. I know that a lot of people have spoken quite highly of the RC Elites version twos, especially for the longer distances, the uh, half marathons and the marathons. I'm really keen to see how they're gonna perform over 5K. So let's go to Park Run. Couldn't keep up with him. Hard. As well. Hey guys. Hold on, mate. Yeah, Get me going. Oh, good, I couldn't hear you, but I knew you were there. <laughs> Every corner you went around, I dropped back and yeah. just couldn't keep up. I swing real tight because I knew you were on my wing. Oh. It's like, oh man. That's great. Right. Right. <laughs> Wow, that's impressive, mate. Pushing that as well. Well done. How'd you go? Missed it. Oh, missed it. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Come on. Oh, jeez. That was hot. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Just wandering around here. Yeah, Hang with some of foot. Try. Keep still. Yep, I've got it. <laughs> We didn't lose, but we didn't gain. Yep. Thank you for that. Thank you. Well done, guys. Whoa, we're hit. Power Ranger. Go to the end. Well done, guys. Hot out there. Well done, guys. Thank you. Well done, well done. 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 Well done.
fun these shoes big thumbs up for me but I'll get to those in a second so just having a look at my result from that park run 1944 really happy with that didn't talk a lot after the run because I was pretty well gassed nice flat course a little loop followed by a big loop around the lake started out a little bit too quick 350 for the first kilometer 353 358, 358, and then a 356 to finish. But I am really stoked with how I felt on that run. I had a lot more pace than I thought I would have, considering it's been a slow build up since that Achilles niggle. Sure, I was breathing really heavily through the run, but 1944, really happy because all I've been doing at the moment is the low heart rate slow running just building back up that aerobic base and i guess also the trails that i've started to introduce into my running as well has just made me a little bit stronger all in all a really thumbs up this morning from park run now you see elites the version twos from new balance loved them fantastic comfortable ride moved very well through my gait felt that i was getting a really nice propulsion from the carbon plate in this shoe that real that sort of real you know, that kick off. Sure, it was a 5K and it was a lot of twists and turns. Really looking forward to giving this shoe a bit more of a try over a longer distance. Now, I also do have the RC Elites version one. How do they compare? I might do a bit of a shoe off uh, at another stage, but if I had to, after running in my first impression of this shoe versus the RC Elite ones, which I haven't got with me, um, I'm probably favouring these, but I'd like to give these a bit more of a try over a 10 half marathon and see how they perform. But I think there's a bit of a trend here, guys. I've got three new balance shoes that I've now added into my rotation. I still do have the original pair of the Beacon V3s, which are in my rotation. And I also have the original Rebels V2 in my rotation still i think this one's up to about 500 k's and this one is around 400 k's and they've still got a lot of life in them don't get me wrong uh, but it's just nice to add in some newer shoes to the rotation really noticed the difference when i ran in these yesterday compared to the old beacons that i've been running in and just in the just in the actual ride and the feel and the comfort and that cushion through there as well. Just noticed a real difference. So maybe after 500 kilometers, the Beacon V3s are just starting to break down a little bit. Good opportunity to uh, get these newer shoes into the rotation. <laughs> oh, 